How you doing YouTube? It is I, Master of Earth, and I'm here again for another video. And in this video, I'm going to speak about a science and some knowledge, once again, that is not being talked about. So, this video is basically going to be about scents, basically the unique smell everybody has everybody has their own uh, unique uh, scent that their body produces and in this video I'm going to speak about the significance of smell and the significance of our noses and here is something that might shock you but Master of Earth is here to tell you that this reality that you see this reality that we all engage in is powered by scent it's powered by smells. Everything gives off a smell. Everything communicates with each other through smells. And in this video, I'm gonna speak about this just to bring more awareness and more power to you. Um, I'll first have to say that the science of smell is unknown to many, but there are people that are using this science for their own benefit and I'll speak about this later but reality is powered by the sense of smell guys um, humans have evolved a long way haven't we? we we see things now we can hear things with our ears we can taste things with our tongues but we need to remember about our origins and how life used to be and there was a time on this planet where people wasn't relying on vision. People wasn't relying on what they heard. People wasn't relying on what they tasted. The predominant sense that was used to exist on this planet was the sense of smell. Um, to break it down some more for you guys, I'll have to say that in reality, and this, and this great uh, creation that we uh, uh, participate in there are two different worlds that you need to be aware of and these two worlds is basically the real world the world of truth and the false world the world of illusions now the real world is powered predominantly by the subconscious mind Everything that has to do with the subconscious mind is in fact real. It's truth, okay? Things such as body language, things such as sense, things such as tonality, uh, basically anything that manifests beyond the ego, anything that manifests beyond conscious awareness is in the realm of the real world. and. The sense of smell, what we smell, it's, it's, it's in this world, and I'll explain to you why it's in this world. Now, the false world, the illusion world, the fake world that I speak of, is basically not the subconscious uh, mind, but the conscious mind. The illusionary world that we often find ourselves is being created by our egos. Basically, any thought, any word, anything that springs out of the ego is pure illusion and in this realest sense it's non-existence it's not real now our sense of smell the the the, the, the various smells that we perceive during the day our sense of smell is very is very unique compared to our other senses it's different compared to our vision it's different be compared to our hearing is different compared to our taste and here's why you can say that all our other senses uh, are first filtered in the brain before we actually perceive uh, our senses like for example science will tell you that before you actually see something it will first be filtered in your brain your brain will um, process it and then you will then see what you're looking at as whatever image it may be the same thing goes for if you hear something. Before you actually hear what you're hearing, it will first be processed in the brain before you actually are aware of the sound. 
Now, for our sense of smell, on the other hand, it is unique because it does not go through a, fil a filter process in the brain. Your brain does not process your sense of smell. And anything that you perceive via your nose goes directly to your brain without being filtered, without being processed. So right then and there, you can basically say that your sense of smell, uh, compared to your other senses, your sense of smell is basically a authentic sense. It's basically that sense that is out of the hands or out of the reach of the ego. Because when you think about it, we see what, what we want to see. Our egos kind of filter what we're seeing, or we, we hear what we want to hear. But when it comes to smell, <laughs> you have no choice. You smell the truth, guys. And like I said, smell is powered by the subconscious mind. And when you speak of the subconscious mind, we are not speaking about words. Words all come from the ego. The subconscious mind is purely truth, and we're speaking of emotions, the language of the body. This is the realm of the, sub of the subconscious realm, and our sense of smell is tied in into the subconscious realm. If I see something, I choose how I want to feel when I see what it is that I'm looking at. But my sense of smell is directly connected to my subconscious mind. Therefore, it can trigger subconscious responses in my body without me having any type of influence. This is the power of the smell. This is the power of sense. So, now that I broke that out the way, let me just speak about some other topics real quick. Okay, so before a long, 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 long time ago on the planet, humans had a lot more senses than what we use today. And these senses, um, they were beyond the five senses that we have come to know. And don't worry about it. We still have these senses, they're still in our bodies, and they can be activated at any time. But before on the planet, we had more senses than this, and our sense of smell was highly keen. Like I said before, our sense of smell is tied into the subconscious realm, it's tied into truth. When you look at everything in existence, whether you know it or not, everything gives off its own unique smell and smell sense was the mechanism organisms use to communicate with each other just to give you an example let's say you're walking down the street and somebody is mowing their lawn and you don't see them mowing their lawn but you can smell it you know you can smell the, the smell of grass you know, right there, that's communication being being uh, made. You are aware of your environment through smell. Animals use this. There are various leaves, there are various plants that will give off certain scents that will attract predators that will eat the bugs or insects that attack the plants. Like it's all a symbiotic relationship with sense and everything communicates with sense and uh, just to give you an uh, idea on just to give you more of an idea of how significant sense are I always talk about holograms I always, I always talk about how holographically the all can always be found within you can always find God you can always find everything within a hologram basically and our bodies are basically holograms for all that is we are all that is uh, present in this creation and our sense the smells that our bodies give off at every single moment in time at every single time our bodies are creating a sense and within this sense you can holographically find the aura of that person. Within the sense of any living thing, you can find the aura of that person, 
You can find the emotional states. You can find their health. You can find basically everything that has to do with that person is present within that person's sense. And in the ancient times, individuals was very aware of the power of scent. They was very aware of the power of their smell. I'll tell you now that the human aura in ancient times, they believed that the human aura was your scent. And this is why. Everything is interrelated. Everything is connected. The scent that is coming out your body is you, is connected to your mind. And, and in the olden days, they believed that the stronger your scent, the stronger your smell, and I'm not talking about a repulsive smell, because, you know, I'm just, let me just explain this to you. The stronger your smell, the more widespread your, your aroma could travel, the more things that can be within uh, the area of this smell, these are the things that we could manipulate. Our scent, once again, is connected to us. Anything that is within proximity of our scent can be manipulated by us. Our mind is in our scent. Our aura is in our scent, you know? So basically, in the ancient times, Individuals was very aware of the magic of scent. Remember, scent is tied into the subconscious realm. It's tied into the real world. If you want to participate in life, the best way to manipulate things is through scent. So we was aware of this in the olden times, and people that was healthy, people that was strong, people that was beautiful because they was healthy and they was living in accordance to nature, these individuals their sense that their bodies will produce was very strong and it could travel very far and the aroma was appealing and even though uh, you can't consciously perceive the sense, remember sense is powered by the subconscious mind, even though you can't consciously perceive the sense, you know, it will still have uh, an effect on you because the person's sense might be appealing. And anybody that has a lot of magnetism, anybody that has a lot of people flocking towards them, it may be, it, you, it may be because of your sense. People might not be able to perceive your sense, but your sense is being detected by the subconscious mind. And that is why they flock around you. That is why they want to be around you. That is why they want to be your friend because you're giving off a beautiful scent and this is the science that was known in the ancient times and today this science has been corrupted nobody knows about it anyways those people that had weak bodies those people that were sick those people that was not moving in accordance to the natural laws of nature which is basically most of the people you see alive today their scent wasn't strong their scent was in fact weak the aroma of the scent was not appealing. Instead, it's repulsive. It doesn't travel far, and the strength of the scent is not it's not strong as at all. Basically, you can't influence anything in your environment because your scent is that weak. So that is that that is that that is what I'm trying to say. Like, have you ever noticed people that people don't like? Have you ever seen somebody that uh, people seem not to want to be around? or somebody that people s seem not to get along with, a great deal of that can be caused by that person's sense. That person might have a repulsive sense, and even though you can't perceive it with your conscious mind, remember our sense of smell is a subconscious sense. Even though we can't perceive it with our conscious mind, it can have an effect on us subconsciously, and we will react based by that. Okay. So, at any given moment, at every given moment, we have no choice, we have no say. Our bodies will always be producing smells. And this scent that our bodies produces holographically encase who we are at that specific time. Let's say that I'm feeling angry.
people don't notice this, but anger does have a certain sense. Every single emotion that you experience all has its own unique smell. Happy people, uh, people that are loving, people that are basically trying their best to serve this planet, they often have appealing scents because most of the time their bodies are producing the sense of love, the sense of happiness, the sense of calmness, the sense of tranquility, the sense of um, joy. And these scents are very beautiful. And let's say we have somebody that is in this unnatural existence. At every given moment, he's under stress. He might not be happy with his job. He might be angry at the world. This person will be, will be producing, his body will be, will be producing repulsive scents. The scent of anger is, is, is very nasty. If, you ever, if you're ever around somebody that's angry, the day that you will smell anger, you'll be like, what the hell? Anger stinks. Uh, anything that is negative basically stinks. And if this is your overall uh, base emotional state, if you are basically maintaining a continuous state of stress, you will stink. And even though we can't perceive it consciously, you will have a subconscious stink that will be affecting things in your reality. And this is, this is why I need to bring this to your attention in this video. Every given thing produces a sense, and everything in reality is powered by sense. Believe it or not, your first impression of a room, your first impression of somebody, is based off of their sense. Let's say that um, you go into a building, and at that time, you did not know it was a detention house. At that time, you did not know that that building was a place that they kept people captive, you know? And let's say that the people that they kept captive in this building was going through a lot of stress, was going through anger, was going through a lot of these negative emotions. And during the time they was in this building, they was producing these scents. And over time now, the building has accumulated all this sense from all these people and now it's just there. And now you come along, you buy the building and this is long, uh, I mean this is at the time where all these people that was in this building first, the people that served detention in this building, all these people have left. Now you want to buy the building. You have nothing, you don't even know that they used, they used to use this building as a detention house. And now you want to buy that building. And let's say that you do buy this building. I'd like you to know that even though you're not holding anybody captive in this building anymore, because of the scent that is present within that building, anybody that comes inside will feel the same feelings that people felt when the place was a, 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 a detention center. Like I said, our sense, our sense of smell is a subconscious organ. It's a subconscious sense. And it affects people emotion, emotionally, instantly. And that building, it would take time for somebody to neutralize the frequency of that building because of the sense of despair, the sense of stress that the people uh, previously was creating. So this is what happened to a lot of people. A lot of people that want to start their own business or a lot of people that has a project that they want to do, they oftentimes pick the wrong places and get the wrong vibe because of the smells that are present within that place. And the best way to eliminate that uh, smell is to replace it with a better vibration, a better quality. Make that detention uh, a meditation center or something like that and that and that smell will be uh, obliterated but what I'm basically saying is that whether you like it or not things that you smell have a emotional effect on you everything has an emotional effect on you and this happens not in the world of illusions not in the world of the conscious mind the world of the ego this happens in your subconscious mind and you have no choice on what you experience 
what you get from that stimuli is authentic. And most of the time, these scents are giving people good or bad responses in their bodies, okay? Okay, so everything is connected by sense. Just by you smelling a certain scent, it can trigger an emotional response within you and they are aware of this at this time on this planet. They are basically using certain scents to control us because of the response that we will have on those scents. They use it, they use it, they use it everywhere basically. And let's say that you're a happy person uh, haven't you wondered how it's so easy to be happy around happy people or so it's so easy to feel safe around somebody that is calm believe it or not you are basically reacting to that person's smell and anybody that maintains a positive outlook a positive um, state of mind their scent will always overpower somebody that is angry or somebody has that has a negative uh, emotional state so I know you guys have met that certain person that wow you feel it's so easy for you to be calm in their presence or stuff like that and I need you to know that now it is predominantly because of the smell even though you don't perceive it consciously it's happening subconsciously we are always reacting to various scents that is why you need to be careful who you, who you basically uh, smell, basically, because smell encases that person's aura, and the more you smell that person, the more qualities you take in yourself, okay? And whatever you smell go directly to your brain. Smell has is the easiest way to affect people. Okay, now that I got that out the way, everything in existence is powered by smell. Anything that you feel, anything that you think with your head, anything that goes on your body has a smell, and it travels. And anybody that picks up the smell, they can have a response in their own bodies that is similar to the origins of that smell. If I'm angry, and if my smell spreads, if somebody smells it, even though they don't smell it consciously, and they smell it subconsciously, my, my smell of anger may be able to induce anger in the person that smells it. Okay, so now that I got all that stuff out the way, I need to speak about your own personal, individual smell. Right now on the planet, human beings basically stink. If you ask aliens, if you ask animals, they'll all tell you the same thing. Nothing smells worse than a human. And we can't really smell. Our sinuses are clogged up. We can't really perceive the odors that we create, but we do stink. And here's why. Uh, there's a strategy being played upon us. Basically, they are attacking us. They are attacking our natural scent, and they are also attacking our hearts, which is connected to our natural scent. And basically, they are using the technology of cleanliness. They tell the world that cleanliness is next to godliness. And what do you see people doing? You see people scrubbing their skin, scrubbing their armpits, brushing their teeth, wearing perfumes, putting on deodorant, and thinking this is making them clean. But I'll tell you now that if you do any of those things, you are not clean. In fact, you are dirty, and you are you are not close to being godly if you're cleaning yourself that way. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah, that is correct. But that type of clean, that is not clean. That is, in fact, dirtiness. And I'll explain to you why. Basically, our sense, our 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 individual smell, is being generated by our skin by the openings in our skin, and it also is stored in our hair. And that is why there's a, there's, a, there's a strategy being played upon us. They want us to cut our hair. They, don't, they want us to wash our hair with shampoos. They want us to put conditioners in our hair because they understand the importance of smell, and they want to wipe out 
all of the natural information our bodies produce. So we wash our hair with shampoo, we shave, and I'll tell you now, I'll have a video about this in the future, but I'll tell you about the significance of hair once again. Hair is not something that you want to cut. Hair is not something that you want to manipulate, and hair is not something that you want to wash because hair does store smell, and you're basically lessening your influence on the world. Remember, your smell encases your aura. You can influence things that are in promiscuity of your scent, and people don't notice, but people are washing off their hair, people are scrubbing off their skin, and in this video, I just want to bring attention to three, um, three, four places that you need to be aware of that produces scents in the body. I want to bring it to your awareness. Basically, any place that you find pubic hair is under attack. The main place that is under attack that we all know of is, uh, is of course, our armpits. And our armpits is directly connected to our hearts, guys. And if you wear deodorant every day, I'm sorry to tell you this, but every day you are attacking your own hearts, okay? Another place that produces smells that is under attack is basically our pubic hair that is next to our genitals. This uh, region gives off sexual smells that that is supposed to attract the right partner to us, but because we wear boxes, because we wear underwears, because we um, because there's no real air circulation there, we can't really um, circulate the scent there, and so forth. Uh, lastly, it will be the nipples. Believe it or not, our nipples are generators of a particular scent, and it's a it's a highly it's a, it's a highly significant place when it comes to your own unique scents. This is where you can attract people to you. It gives off um, mating scents. And so does your pubic hair. It gives off like a sexual scent that attracts a partner to you. And lastly, I'll speak about the hair on top of your head and your beard if you're a man. You know, hair is powered, reality is powered by uh, smell and hair stores smells. Um, yeah, that's basically all of the places. Now, your armpit is basically one of the most significant organs of smell, which we are all aware of. We have all been conditioned and trained to see our armpits as a repulsive part of ourselves. and. This video will give this part of ourselves justice because I'll bring something to your awareness. Basically, it was believed that the human aura is found within that person's sense. The human aura is what? It is generated by the human heart. There is nothing on our bodies that has a stronger energy than our hearts. Okay? The human aura is being generated by our hearts, basically. Let me tell you something, guys. Our hearts can be found here in our armpits, guys. Our hearts can be found here. Basically, the outlet for our auras is our armpits. And what's going on when you, uh, when you wear deodorant? Basically, you clog up this area and all the energy that is supposed to leave out your armpit, all the energy that is supposed to leave is being clogged. It's, it becomes stagnant. And then people all, always say, damn, my armpits stink. But you need to understand that your armpits are basically lipnoids. And lipnoids are basically uh, places on the body that are that are used to dispose of things, that is used to dispose of unwanted material, filth, anything that's not supposed to be long in your body, li your lipnoids get rid of them. Your armpit is a lipnoid, your pubic hair next to your genitalia is a lipnoid, and these are generators of scent, okay? This is why these places are so important, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
around here you can find some lip noise in your nipple region and these places dispose of unwanted materials in the body if you clog these places up what do you think is happening to your body what do you think is happening to your sense the sense that are supposed to leave your body becomes stagnant now you perceive this repulsive scent you, you perceive this horrific smell it is your own doing guys and what I'm saying is that your heart is under attack because they understand the power that you will gain if you allow hmm, let me stop it right there okay so they understand the importance that they understand the power you will gain by freeing up your armpits guys if you allow the energy that is being clogged there to finally to be dispersed keep in mind that your your scent your aura is basically tied into your smell the stronger the more widespread your scent the more power that will be bestowed upon you you'll be better able to influence things in your in your reality and they basically don't want your heart they basically don't want your aura to be strong so what do they do they promote deodorant they want you to use deodorant and look at this guy right here what you doing down here <laughs> but anyways they want you using deodorant and I know a lot of people will tell me master of earth so you're basically telling us not to wear deodorant and I, I, I yeah, I'm telling you that and anybody that is scared about I might smell I might stink I have to tell you something about the human body and here's something that many people do not know but the human body naturally makes its own deodorant okay but because we wash off all the natural oils each time we take showers we never allow we never allow our bodies to develop this odor protection basically and it takes base if you've been putting on deodorant your whole life if you've been taking showers your whole life it will basically take about a month for your armpits to finally make its own deodorant it probably may take about two to two weeks to a month for your body to make its own deodorant but your body does has this this mechanism and if it's too extreme to stop wearing deodorant then you can try to get something natural at the organic market or something like that but I need you to understand that by clogging up your armpits you are holding in energy and this energy then becomes repulsive you then um, you then influence your heart in a negative way and basically your sense would not be strong it would be a weak sense basically so here's something that a lot of people don't know about and I'll speak about this now your armpits are connected to your heart a good way of shaking up all that stagnant energy that has been trapped there over over all these years of uh, unnatural practices a good practice you need to start doing as soon as possible to encourage your natural scent to encourage the opening of all the knots and all the blockages that you have created is to slap your armpits just you know I can't really get an angle because I'm holding the camera but slap your armpits do this for about 20 to 30 minutes and this is a cure all remedy for all of the hardship you have plagued upon your heart your heart is connected to your armpits guys and one of the worst things you can do for your aura one of the worst things you can do for your natural sense is to clog up your heart by wearing deodorant so a good way to open that region up to open the lip noise to give your body a chance to get rid of the things 
that it needs to get rid of because your arm your body does use your armpit to get rid of things is to open that area up and you can open it up by slapping it okay another spot that I want you to focus on for your natural sense is your pubic region your pubic hair region that region where you find pubic hair please massage that area slap that area tap it encourage a, a, a energy circulation there uh, there is a lot of blockages in that region and there's a lot of sexual energy that cannot make it to the genitals because of all the blockages at the pubic area region and this is because of boxers this is because of wearing pants we are always kind of blocking this area so I want you to do the same in this place as well to slap massage massage basically anywhere that has pubic hair in the body just to open up a flow uh, of energy so that's the tip for this video for anybody that wants to engage in a more natural way of existence the human body does produce a natural deodorant it takes about two weeks to a month to produce this if this is too extreme please start to wear natural deodorant because clogging up your armpits is basically one of the worst things you can do for your heart and remember that reality is powered by sense anything that I feel anything that is going on inside my body can be present within the scent that I produce at that time and sense is what we use to communicate with each other it's not about what you say it's not about what you think it's about how you smell okay so even though people might be like oh man not wearing deodorant I might stink it's not a matter of stinking or smelling good it's a matter of magnetism okay they are trying to attack your magnetism by trying to stop as much energy from leaving out your armpits as possible your armpits are connected to your heart your heart is the organ of magnetism and your armpits is basically under attack so you can do yourself a favor right now by doing this method I, uh, I don't think this method is in any book I don't think anybody on YouTube is presenting this method but I Master Earth will tell you this I want you from today on 30 minutes just to slap your armpits open up that energy you know uh, remove all of the artificial ingredients from the deodorants that have been stuck in your armpits over time remove these materials by slapping your armpits by massaging it and allowing it to come out okay guys sense is very important this video I just want to bring some awareness into the mechanisms of the body there will be some more videos but please focus on those two areas okay there it is not by coincidence that you started to grow hair on these places when you underwent puberty your armpits and your genitalia region where you can find pubic hair is meant to be massaged and and stimulated to, to free up the energy there and to allow your natural aroma to come out your aura is inside your aroma gain magnetism reward yourself with extra magnetism by freeing up these areas in the body okay guys thank you for watching master of earth I love you so much I love you so much there'll be some more videos in the future so stay tuned peace out